We're live. All right. Good morning, Girl Scouts. Happy Saturday. Uh, I am here at beautiful Alt Park. Super excited to be outside today. For the, those who uh, don't know me, uh, my name is Marissa Hollander. I am the program and partnerships uh, team leader out of the Cincinnati office for Girl Scouts of Western Ohio. Uh, we'll hang out for a minute and wait for uh, some other folks to hop on for our Daisy uh, Eco Learner badge today. Uh, if you're uh, not a Girl Scout or a Daisy that's watching, uh, know that this um, is a really fun intro to the outdoors experience that we're going to be talking about today. And for other Girl Scouts who are tuning in who are maybe older, uh, this can count towards other uh, environmental stewardship badges as well. So we'll be kind of doing like an outdoor 101. But yeah, we're going to hang out for uh, just two minutes and wait for some other folks to hop on. Uh, we'll do an icebreaker question to get us going. Uh, so I would love for you to write in the comments, tell me your name, uh, where you're tuning in from, and your favorite thing about being outside. All right, and just flipping the camera around. Hi, I am filming. I'm Brooke, and I'm in the program and partnerships team from Cincinnati as well. I'm filming Marissa and moderating the comments, so if you hear a voice behind the camera, it will be mine. Don't worry, we are keeping six feet apart. We are social distancing while hiking. So, hi Claire, thank you so much for tuning in. Hi, Amelia. That's so exciting. You're tuning in from Seattle. Oh, awesome. Natalie from Maryland is here. It looks a little bit like Seattle today. It's, it's pretty chilly, guys. I was definitely hoping for some warmer weather. Yeah. It's gray, uh, but we've got some beautiful magnolia trees that are blooming. It's my favorite kind of tree. Uh, that's my favorite thing about being outside right now. Yesterday was the first day of spring. Um, so with that, I went on a walk and I saw all of the beautiful magnolia trees here blooming and their beautiful pink fat flowers um the gorgeous makes the trees look like um they're on fire with pink fire it's gorgeous um looks like some other folks are getting outside today that's awesome uh, so for those who are tuning in from elsewhere we are we're in cincinnati ohio right now uh we're in a neighborhood called oakley and this is alt park uh it's a really gorgeous park really whimsical uh, lots of hiking trails. Uh, there's some gorgeous lookout points um, at the top of the park. Um, yeah, it's it's a great area to be. So we're excited to be here today. Yeah, so far we have um, Valentina from Puerto Rico. Awesome. We have Aaron from Pennsylvania. We have folks from all over Yay. watching from Granger, Indiana, Amelia. New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Dayton, Northwood, Ohio. We have some folks from Anderson. You're right, right by us. Yeah. All right. Well, Brooke, do you think we should go ahead and get started? Yes. Okay. So as I mentioned today, we're going to be getting a job start on the Daisy uh, Eco Learner badge. This is a legacy badge. So again, if you're not in a Daisy age level, uh, what we'll be learning about today is really good and can help you uh, probably accommodate some other bad steps. Uh, for this series. So just keep that in mind as we're going forward. So we are going to be working on the first two steps and then in the event discussion uh, I gave a worksheet so that you can do the third step but I'll also give it um, some tips and tricks for how you can do that uh, outside if you want to do that. So uh, for step one we're going to talk about how to be prepared to go outdoors in nature. As you can see I brought my backpack. I'm dressed for the weather so I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, for step two we're going to talk about how to keep living things safe uh, as we're outside. So we're going to go on a hike and actually look at different pockets of nature and identify different living things um, and just be mindful of that. So we're going to stay on our hiking trail um, and move forward. And then for step three, uh, it's how to um, keep trash clear of nature. So in Girl Scouts, uh, we always refer to the policy of leave no trace. I hope uh, some folks signing on have heard this before, uh, but we leave the world better uh, than how we found it. So, uh, you know, that's why I brought my backpack. I'm prepared. 
you know, I have some snacks with me, but I'm going to throw, you know, I'm going to put the trash in my backpack for later. Um, there is a trash can behind us, so. You have to talk louder. Oh, I have to talk louder. I'm so sorry. So I've got my backpack here. So if I've got um, trash, I'm going to keep it in my backpack or put it in this garbage bin over here. Um, I'm not going to drop anything on the ground. I'm going to make sure that this park stays as beautiful as when we found it today. So for step one, be prepared to go outdoors, right? So um, I've got lots of things with me today. Uh, Brooke texted me this morning, said it was pretty cold out. I've got a really nice hat on. They can't hear us. Oh, no. Um, At all? Thanks for letting us know. We've moved our camera lady closer. I'm trying to social distance and film, so I'm, I'm pretty close to Marissa. I'm not I mean, blocking can... the camera or the mic. Hmm. Let's see. How do I flip it around? Hi, everyone. I'm going to flip it back. Let's see. Can everyone hear me now? We can hear you. We hear. Okay. Sorry about that glitch. Let us know. Hi, Katie. Let us know if you can't hear me. So I'm going to give the camera back to Brooke. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, I am dressed to be prepared for the weather today. I've got this really nice insulated jacket. They said use your camp voice. <laughs> pretty loud guys I have a pretty loud outdoor voice okay so I've got a really nice cozy hat on my hair is down to keep my ears snuggled and warm I'm wearing this under armor um, skin so that my hands stay warm it's got these nice thumb holes um, this really puffy insulated jacket this is one of my favorite outdoor jackets it keeps me warm I'm wearing really nice insulated leggings and thick socks and I've got my hiking boots on so I am so ready to be outdoors and yes Brooke is showing I'm wearing my oh so cool pizza socks yay pizza I hope some people are ordering in pizza this weekend from their favorite local pizza shop uh, maybe La Rosa's if you're in Cincinnati okay in terms of my backpack I'm gonna point it down this way <laughs> They can't hear again. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'm just gonna keep chucking along. I think I'm talking pretty loud. Okay, I'll just point out different things. So in my backpack, um, I've got a nice water bottle that I bring with me to stay hydrated on my hike. Um, I've got snacks, of course. So I didn't bring any gork, good old raisins and peanuts, but I do have pistachios which I love they keep me full nuts are really nice because they're full of protein and then I always love fruit in nature because it always tastes sweeter outside so I have come in times um, so I'm gonna be munching on these throughout the hike other things I have with me Girl Scouts always have a first aid kit I'm pretty close so you never know what can happen out here so um, I always bring that with me given the unique circumstances I have hand sanitizer just in case I do see trash on the ground and I want to pick it up and I might need to sanitize my hands afterwards. So um, those are the things I've brought with me on my hike today. I know part of this badge for daisies is to talk about what you wouldn't bring on a hike with you. So obviously I didn't bring <laughs> so close to my face. I didn't bring any toys with me, you know, I didn't bring a toaster, I didn't bring, a, you know, a ridiculous, you know, spread of breakfast that I was going to need um, a toaster for that I would need to plug into the wall. Um, just some really simple things. Again, I didn't bring any toys with me because nature is your playground. And can you remind us what we're doing today? Yeah, sure. So today we are working on steps one and two of the Daisy uh, Eco Learner Badge. Uh, we are learning about what to bring when you go on a hike so that you're prepared to be outdoors in nature to keep nature safe. And then we're going to uh, go on a hike uh, and look at some different living things that we can find to make sure that we're keeping that safe as well. And then for step three, as I mentioned, um, it's keeping nature safe from trash. So as I mentioned, I really do want to avoid picking up trash today, just given um, the germs that are floating around in society right now. But in the event discussion, uh, there is a worksheet where you can see what belongs and what does not belong. So you can go there um, and there's um, a beautiful picture of nature and definitely some items that don't belong there. So you can follow along with that. Or if you want to do something a little bit more experiential for step three and go outside, um, I recommend you put on some gloves, <laughs> disposable gloves, 
and a trash bag and then you can go out in your community or a park that's in your neighborhood and pick up trash to keep that safe from um, you know spoiling our beautiful outdoors so and then wash your hands with soap and water and sanitize so we're gonna go on a little hike one activity that we're going to do is we've got a piece of string and we're gonna kind of just walk along this really beautiful trail and we're gonna look at the ground and look for different living things and uh, we're gonna see what we can find today. So again, me and Brooke, we're not necessarily experts. We just love being outside. So um, hopefully we don't uh, lose service, but as you can see, we're in this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, park today. Uh, we've got a creek kind of flowing to our right. Hi, Valentina um, from Puerto Rico. Awesome. Susie, we love Girl Scouts in Nature as well. We're super excited uh, to be outside today. <laughs> all right let us know what you're up to let us know where you're tuning in from we apologize if there were any technical difficulties with hearing not sure why that is but we're gonna keep chugging along um outside so yeah we've got this nice little creek flowing to our right we can stop there <laughs> yay so brooke's gonna show us this lovely little creek and we'll just get some nice peaceful water. We can kind of watch that for a moment. Really peaceful. What's kind of fun about this creek, if you've ever been to Alt Park, is that it really only is a creek during certain times of the year. Uh, usually in fall and winter, there is no water here. So I always really enjoy uh, when it's full. It's just really peaceful. If you're a daisy, it's definitely fun to come and stomp around in and do some creek stomping. So if you've never been to Alt Park before, know that this is here. Hello from Pittsburgh. Good to see you. Okay, so again, part of what we're going to do today is we're going to stop at different points um, and lay the string on the ground in a circle. It's about four feet long, and we're just going to look to see uh, what living things we find that are in our circle. So um, we're going to be keeping our eyes peeled to see if we see anything interesting um, to stop for, but we're just going to kind of hike along. I hope that you all can hear uh, the creek flowing. We've got lots of uh, birds chirping. It's really peaceful, really nice. Maybe if Chelsea's tuning in, she could tell us what birds they are, or if you ever <laughs> know what they are. Yeah, yeah. Again, Brooke and I are not experts. Uh, we're, we're filling in. We're, we're outdoor honoree Girl Scouts for today. <laughs> um, but we're having fun. It's really nice. Um, all right, this seems like maybe a good place to stop and we can kind of do a loop. You want to hold this? All right, so I'm going to make a circle with this string. I'm going to see what we find that lands in the circle. So... All right, so let's see what we can find. Looks like we've got some kind of clovery plant blooming here. Uh, really green, really lush. It rained here recently, so I'm sure a lot of this is popping out. And we've got some flowers that are trying to come through. Might technically be a weed, but pretty to look at anyhow. Lots of fallen leaves. I'm sure we could find leaves that look different from different trees again i'm no tree expert but i can definitely tell you that these come from different trees i can't tell you what kind of trees they come from because that's not my area of expertise but if someone knows definitely comment and let us know i'm sure we've got some naturalists on today you can see the shapes are very different of all of these leaves and this is a great thing to practice too if you're looking for trash in nature look for what doesn't belong so I'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled to see if we can um, find a, any of that, but we'll, we'll do this maybe once or twice more. Actually, let's go up here, Brooke. I see a really cool um, moss-covered trunk. Ooh. Stop at Another kind of flower blooming. This one's white. White with some purple too. Yeah, really pretty.
Oh, William said that one of the leaves is from an oak tree. Thank you, William. Yes. my string and I'm going to wrap it around here so we can look at a few oh. different things that are happening. Michelle says one of them was a hickory leaf. Thank you, Michelle. Rock star. So we're at this really big uh, log here um, and some really fun things happening on this log. As you can see, there's um, different kinds of moss uh, growing here. So we've got, it's really soft and moist. It's kind of like the blanket of nature, if you will. Um, and you can see some of them are kind of growing out uh, and reaching for the sun like that. And some are more um, close to the, to the trunk. So it's really fun. It's a really beautiful color. Um, for those who know me, I'm an artist and I love colors. And then what is this? What do you think this might be? Comment what you think this might be. It's white. It's soft. Does anyone have any ideas what that might be? We'll wait and see if anyone jumps in in the comments. Any ideas? A leaf? Question mark? Hmm, it's not a leaf. It's growing off of the trunk. Yeah, it's pretty Kinda stuck on there. Yeah, it's pretty stuck on there. It's pretty thick. Molly said mushrooms and moss on the log. Good job, Molly! Yes, so this is definitely um, a mushroom. Oftentimes when there are fallen trees, you'll see different species of mushrooms growing on there. So um, kind of fun. It definitely, I can, I can smell it. It has a mushroom smell, kind of a dank smell. Um, yeah. And for those who were able to tune in yesterday, uh, I did the Outdoor Art Explorer badge and I mentioned that something I like to do is I leave my painted stones out for other people to find them. And especially given uh, the situation we have found ourselves in a nation, we could bring happiness to other people today. So I didn't need to bring this on my hike, but I'm actually going to leave this here on this tree in hopes that someone else was interested in um, the moss growing and the mushrooms and maybe someone will find that later. Yeah. And can you remind them. us what we're doing with the red circle? Yeah, yeah, so with the red circle, uh, we are um, circling different parts of nature to identify different things that are living so we can be more conscious about them and keep them safe. Um, so it's kind of fun just to stop at different points, especially if you see a piece of trash on the ground, you can put that in your circle and really notice that that does not belong. Um, so that's kind of what we're working on today. Maybe Brooke, should we find one more point to do it and then we can recap what we've done and then sign off? All right, so let's keep trucking forward and see if we find anything else that's interesting. Brooke, keep your eyes peeled. All right. Alright, we got lots more. These actually look like they might have been chopped down at some point. Some ivy growing over uh, these logs here. Lots of ivy in this area. Ooh. So we've got a tree trunk that's rotting over here. Rotting out the center. So kind of curious, maybe there's some fun bugs in there or something. Not seeing anything that's pretty chilly today. I'm sure everyone's kind of hibernating. <laughs> Moss growing on the ground here on that tree trunk. So as you can see, we're staying on our trail. Uh, there is a designated trail. We're not wandering off. We don't want to disrupt the natural growth that's happening here. So we're being really mindful of that. Pretty dense over here. Pretty squishy too. I hope you all can hear that. Lots of squish. Really fun to go outside and squish around in the mud. Holly says, "Do not sign off, please." <laughs> You're having fun on our virtual hike. <laughs> it's really squishy. Brooke, show them how squishy it is. <laughs> I'm going.
going to sink into this mud. <laughs> it's super muddy. Oh, you know what? And Brooke, I found something that doesn't belong in nature, and I just have to take that away. So I will wash Good my morning. hands afterwards. Good morning. Um, if Brooke, if you want to kind of come up here, you can show them. Um, again, normally I would have disposable gloves with me to pick this up, but I can't just leave this here. So I don't know why someone would just drop this in the middle of nowhere. That's not okay. That does not. Um, <laughs> some hikers who are struggling with the mud up here. <laughs> But yeah, we don't we don't want to leave this outside of nature. That's not good. So I am gonna put this in my backpack. Michelle loves the squishing mud. Sarah says, if we hear a bird, can we try to, if you hear a bird, can we try to identify it? Marissa and I are no experts, so we cannot identify. But if you know what a bird is, please tell us. We'd love to know. Yeah. All Back right, so we've squish. picked up some trash that we know is not biodegradable in nature. <laughs> We're good. Could you please review the two steps you covered in the video before signing off? Of course, we always try to do that before signing off. <laughs> and for those that didn't catch what just happened, um, Marissa and I almost had a wipeout. <laughs> Brooke did have a wipeout. <laughs> hard to film and not fall. The things that we do for you all. Oh, Erin said she heard, here's a blue bird. Oh, Girl Scouts of Western Ohio said Girl Scouts is a safe place to fail or wipe out. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. I'm going to fall down this hill. <laughs> okay. Oh, Layla said that they can't hear me anymore. Well, that's when I was back there trying not to wipe out. So this is kind of interesting too. Um, we've got some orange growth here. I'm assuming that's a type of mushroom. Um, kind of interesting looking. That's something that's in our circle. Lots of things happening. So we've got, again, dry leaves. We've got a fallen branch. We've got moss. Uh, Sharon says you can hear me. That's great. <laughs> I'm glad I can be heard. Um, and again, just some other kind of plants emerging. You can see some different kind of species there. Again, I'm not necessarily an expert, but it's kind of fun just to observe and see what you can find. Oh, this is something too. This is definitely, again, I'm not an expert, not the right person. If you were on <laughs> Chelsea's uh, video, she would be able to tell you, Brooke, is this a, a walnut, a chestnut? I think it's a walnut. I can tell can you. Can someone tell me what this is? <laughs> again, we are not the outdoor team. We're just two Girl Scouters outside having fun for you guys. <laughs> Falling in the mud. Falling in the mud. Making my videos. <laughs> Okay, so do you want us to keep going? I mean, we can keep going. We can hike a little bit more. Your phone told me it was at 10% a while ago, too. Oh, darn. That's strange. All right, well, let's kind of keep going up this trail, and then oh, we can kind of review the oh, stuff. Oh, Sarah said it's a black walnut. A Carly black says walnut. this is so cool. Thank you, Carly. We are having fun slipping through the mud with you all. It goes even down here. That's kind of unique, too. Look how that's twisting. That's really cool. Nature's so cool, guys. Victoria says keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's less muddy. It is less muddy up here. Well, again, we'll see if there's anything else we can find. 
Natalie says this is fun. <laughs> we agree, Natalie. Yeah, I'm sure everyone just wants to watch until someone really does. I've already done it. <laughs> they got to see my view as they fell. <laughs> We've fallen again. <laughs> I'm like in a split You're straddle. <laughs> Shoes, I'm wearing wear. running shoes. Oh, Those are, look at the difference between our shoes. I don't have hiking <laughs> shoes. These I'm are not. hiking shoes. These are running shoes. <laughs> I'm not on the outdoor team. <laughs> Neither am I. Brooke the example of what shoes not to wear today. Yeah, don't watch. Oh, someone asked if we're going. Oh, it's normal. She asked if we're going on a bear hunt. <laughs> There are no bears in Cincinnati. Bears, so. yeah, technically bear cats. Bear cats. <clears throat> There's no bad weather, just inappropriate shoes. <laughs> that was from Megan. Accurate. Oh, thank you, Sarah, for virtually helping me up. <laughs> oh, what else did I find, guys? That doesn't belong. I'm going to pick that up. Gosh, people, we gotta take care of Mother Nature. That's not bueno. And then I'm gonna sanitize my hands for touching that. Ooh. Sounded like a turkey, maybe. Yeah. How should we prepare if we are walking in the mud? Julia, that's a great question. My first suggestion would be don't wear running shoes. Um, I'll actually show the bottom of my shoes. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> show here. Here. They don't have a lot of traction. Here, In hindsight, this is not good. And then look at my shoes. Lots of traction there. Oh, you tilt you need to tilt it back that way. <laughs> Sarah says Brook Girl Scouts are always prepared. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were using her for an educational example, Sarah. <laughs> are you going on a loop? Oh, this is really cool. Jennifer says wear boots. Yeah, or like you can wear rain boots. Really yes, cool. you could wear rain boots, um, hiking boots if you have them. Something that has some traction on the shoes. All right, should we review the badge steps and sign off? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. All right. We hope you've had fun with us today. We've had fun. We're, we're definitely ready. It's chilly, but we're warm because we're walking around. So, okay, we have been working on the Daisy Eco Learner Badge. For step one, we learned how to prepare to go outside. Dress warm, water, snack, first aid kit. In today's world, hand sanitizer, not a bad idea, especially if you're gonna be picking up some trash. Uh, step two, we looked for things that were living in nature. So we stopped at different points and uh, looked at some mushrooms. We looked at some moss. Uh, we found some nuts on the ground. So we stayed on our trail to be mindful of the natural things growing around us. And for step three, it's to keep uh, nature safe from trash. So we did do a little bit of that. I did pick up a few things that I saw along the way. There is a worksheet that daisies can um, work on at home. It's in the event discussion. Or you can put on some disposable gloves, grab a garbage bag, and go outside in your community to pick up some trash in your neighborhood or at a local park. So that's what we've been working on today. Remember that these badge steps um, could accommodate other badges, um, part of that outdoor category for older girls. So um, always a good intro to the outdoor session today. Uh, tune back in at 2 p.m. today. Uh, Tori Hauk is going to be facilitating the Voices for Animals badge for seniors and uh, I hear that there are going to be cows in the video um, so definitely check that out it's gonna be a ton of fun we've had fun with you all we're wishing you a great weekend please be safe um, but have fun try to make the best of the situation we're dealing with right now and uh, we'll see you next time so peace out Girl Scout